Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today's project is this cute kitchen towel. It's got bias trim and a tab that buttons to hold it onto the bar. This is a great project to use up like an old towel because it only takes a little bit of terry cloth. And in fact, that's exactly what I did. I had a bath towel with holes, but I was able to cut around it to get the toweling I needed for this project. For the top part of this towel, I have a pattern template that you can use. This is free to my newsletter subscribers, and the blog post with the information on how to do that is all below. So go ahead and download that, and then I will meet you back here at the camera to show you how to sew this up. To start with, I'm going to take a 12 by 12 inch towel piece, and I'm going to use two pieces of the pattern that you can get from the link below. I have gone ahead and I've put fusible interfacing on these two pieces because I'm using quilting cotton. And then I also went ahead and pressed up the bottom straight edge one half inch to the wrong side. So what I'm gonna start by doing is placing these two pieces right sides together and I'm gonna take them over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna start from that fold and then stitch all the way around. I'm using a half inch seam allowance here. I'm going to stop at the fold as well. Next, I'm going to trim off my seam allowances and I'm gonna turn this right side out and press it. Trimming these down to a quarter inch. All right, once that is pressed right side out, here's what it's gonna look like, and you'll see my folded edges were pressed in there. I've also gone ahead and added a buttonhole. If you don't know how to sew buttonholes, I have another video linked below, and it's all about how to do that skill. And then I've gone ahead and I've added bias tape to three sides of my towel here. And this is also a skill that I have a video for, so if you don't know how to sew double fold bias tape, I've got a video linked below. Now, all I need to do is make this match this. So I am going to fold it in half and then I'm going to fold back the edges until I get this even and we'll have like a big pleat in the middle. There we go. So you see how that is folded. So you've got a pleat and you've got more towel in here. And then all I have to do is I'm going to insert that into the top part here. Okay, and you want to go in about half an inch. You can go more if you'd like. It makes it easier to sew over the thick parts. I'm going to add a couple pins here so that this doesn't fall out. And I'm also going to double check with a pin here. I'm going to stick it through at the bottom edge and make sure it's coming out at the bottom edge on the back side, making sure the back side doesn't pull up and away from anything because we are now going to finish this off by stitching right across here and around with a top stitching thread. Here's what that looks like once it's stitched, and I'm going to trim those threads off the back side. And then all we need to do is sew a button right here. I'm going to sew that, so then this will button over the bar of your drawer or your oven or wherever it is that you keep your kitchen towel. So 
So here is what this looks like once the button is sewn on. And this is going to look great in my kitchen. If you like sewing for home, check out this playlist for more ideas and projects, things that you can sew to beautify your home.